everyone in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a little quick treat wrapper <clears throat> for a Kit Kat chocolate bar and a matching card all from one A4 piece of UK cardstock now I did see this idea done by a US demo actually months ago and the sizes that she used were obviously for US A4 cardstock and in the UK ours is, ours is slightly different. So I reworked the measurements and scribbled them down in my book and I'm actually only just getting around to recording the video. So by the time you get to see this we'll probably be, maybe be even be into December. But you know if you just want to give a little simple treat and a card to somebody you know maybe you're man that collects your dustbin, your postman, your UPS man, you know, somebody that you work with, somebody that works in a shop or something that you go in regularly. It's just a token gesture, but it's wrapping it up nicely and giving it with a matching card. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm using the ginger, the frosted gingerbread stamps, and I'm using the gingerbread and peppermint designer series papers. So the first thing I did, I got a piece of Real Red UK A4 cardstock and I cut it down the middle. So this piece of cardstock now measures 5 and 7 eighths by 8 and a quarter. And to save some time, I've pre-scored it. And I'm just hoping that I can remember how to put this together because I've not made one. But I have put little marks on where I need to cut away and net where I need to glue. So basically, once you've got this piece of cardstock, you need to score it at two and three quarters, three and a quarter, six and a half and seven, and then turn it and you need to score it at half an inch on the short side, then rotate it and score it half an inch again. So that way you've got a half inch section from either side. And then when you look at your piece of card, you've got a bigger element and a smaller element at the top. So the smaller element is the top of the box. And I've just marked with a cross the two sections that need cutting away. So it's the two top rectangles on either side. I'm going to fold and burnish all my score lines which will hopefully make it a little bit easier to see and may make it a little bit easier for me to see where to cut okay so this is the bigger section at the bottom and the smaller section at the top and I'm just going to cut straight down on the outside edge so the edge this side of that score line and then again just to the outside edge of the score line here so I'm effectively cutting away the score line to leave a clean edge at the end of the day it this is just going to hold you know a simple chocolate bar the person that's receiving it isn't really going to be bothered about whether you've cut exactly on your score lines or not so that's what we've got now and then I've put G on these two flaps which, flaps, which I think is uh, to remind me that that's where I need to glue but I also need to now cut up on either side of these two score lines because they're going to fold in this is going to fold in and it's all going to glue together like so so they're gonna fold in that's gonna fold in be glued and then that's gonna stick like so so I'm gonna bring in my silicone craft sheet and I'm going to bring in my wet glue and just add some glue on those two flaps so you want to bring in the two little tabs Bring in where you've just glued and then bring the outside of your box 
X over and just hold it for a second and then do the same. And what you can do is get your scissors or your bone folder or something and just rub on the inside just to help that adhesive to hold. It grabs pretty quickly our Tombow glue. That's what you've got now and then your lid's going to come over like so and it's going to fasten with a belly band. So it's just a very simple little quick box. You little Kit Kat treat will fit inside. So again, to save some time, I've cut some of the designer series paper from the frosted, uh, from the gingerbread and peppermint sweet. And this is four and a half by two and a half. And that's gonna sit on the front of the box. And then this is the other side of it, which I'm going to put on the flat and this is one by four and a half. So I'm just going to apply some adhesive and put this on the flap, just centralizing it as best I can. I kind of left a quarter inch all the way round. And then I want this pattern on the outside on the bottom. That's going to go like so. So that's how it's looking now. Then I've taken a piece of real red cardstock, which I've cut at one inch by nine. So one inch wide by nine inch long. And I've scored this at two, two and a half, six and six and a half. And this is just going to loosely sit around the middle of my box and I'm going to glue it together. Some glue. And obviously you don't want to pull this too tight because you want them to be able to slide it on and off. But you also want it to hold. That's your little belly band now that will slide. And then from the Stitch So Sweetly dies, I've got a rectangle that I'd already pre-cut, so I thought I'd use it. And that's going to stick onto the belly band. And then I've cut from the Designer Series paper one of the patterns that's in one of the sheets of paper. So in this paper, you've got all different designs. And then in some of them, you've got bells and trees and bows and things and I've just cut out one of them's got mittens on and I've just cut out one of the mittens so that's going to sit on there so I'm going to just glue that on to here like so and then I'm just going to put a couple of dimensionals on the belly band and then just pop that up on the dimensionals like so. So you've got a nice little gift packaging, the belly band slides off, and then when you open it, you've got your little Kit Kat treat inside, and then that will just slide back on. So that's your little gift. So with the other half of the piece of A4 card. I scored it down the middle, folded it and burnished it. This piece is to go inside and I've cut this at I think a quarter of an inch smaller. So this is five and six eighths by three and seven eighths. And then I've got my real red ink pad I'm going to bring in my stamping pierce mat because these are photopolymer stamps so they've got no cushioning so I'm just going to ink this up and just kind of stamp it in the bottom corner and the stamping pierce mat just gives me a bit of cushioning you know to help it stamp nicely and then I've got the greeting from the stamp set 
so I've got wishing you a Merry Christmas and that's the, the bauble. Again, just going to use real red ink. And then this is just going to go inside my card. Just with it being a red card, I just like to add a bit of white so you've got somewhere to write your greeting and then i've cut some layers so this is old olive which i think is one of the colors in the paper so yes yeah, so in the gingerbread and peppermint paper you've got cinnamon cider early espresso old olive and real red so i've just pulled some of the paper again to match the little treat holder and I've pulled the cardstock to match it. So this is three inches by four and six eighths, and that's going to sit on the card like so. And I've left a bigger border on this. Another piece of the paper that I've used in the packaging. So that's gonna sit centrally like so. And then I've got a piece of white, which is one and three quarters by four and a quarter, which I thought would just go across the front of the card. And then the other side of this pattern paper again is this, and that's going to go on there. And I've made that the same width, but I've made this one slightly narrower. This is one and a half. So they're going to sit together just because there's white in the background. And I just wanted to bring some of the white in. So that's going to sit like so. And what I might do, I might put a bit of ribbon around this. So I might tie, I've got some early espresso ribbon. Tie a little bit of ribbon around this and pop this up on dimensionals. Because I wanted to use another one of the labels from the Stitch So Sweetly, so that's why I've pulled in some of the white. And then my thinking is that I'll slide this under there like so. And I might just stick this one down flat. Like that. And then I've got another one of the little mittens from the paper that I'm going to put on there. And I might just pop that one up with a dimensional. Like so. So there you have it. You have a card. Wishing you a Merry Christmas decorated inside and a matching little gift box that just houses a little chocolate bar. So that's today's simple, quickish project, all made, as I say, from one sheet of UK A4 cardstock and a little bit of the paper from the gingerbread and peppermint sweet. A um, little bit of ribbon, you know, could have added a bit of ribbon around the belly band as well if I wanted to, to, to match. But, you know, I think it looks OK as it is. And, you know, just um, pop this in an envelope. You could decorate the envelope flat using some of the paper like I've shown you how to do in previous videos. So I hope you like the project. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.